Put it out the coop in the lot. Put for a 12 for a swat. Pussing all the bells out the box. I just hit a leaf with the box. Had to put the stick in the box. What's up guys, hope everyone's having a wonderful day. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you some wall drills that you can do at like your local high school. Uh, even at, let's say like there's a building by your house and you're trying to work on your passing, your first touch, you don't have anybody to train with. This is one of the best ways to improve not only your first touch, but also your passing technique. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is just a simple wall pass. So you're just gonna be a couple feet away and if you want, you can alternate feet. You could go left, right, left, right. But what I recommend is just starting off with one foot, making sure that your foot is locked out and fully turned just like this. So you're just gonna start off with one foot, build a nice rhythm, make good contact, and try to keep the ball ground. Depending on how good your wall is, it might pop up, but just try your best to keep it on the ground. And if it goes to the other foot, just go back to the original foot. And I like to do each of these as long as you want until you feel it's, you're ready to switch onto your next foot or onto the next drill. And I love doing this because you can get so many touches and you're working on your technique for passing. I didn't have a lot of people to train with, so I went to this tennis court and they had a wall and I would just hit the ball against the wall hundreds and hundreds of times. I would hit it harder and harder every time I went and I, I was able to adapt to that. My touch was getting better, my passing form. So it's muscle memory. So the more reps you do, the better you're going to get. So we're gonna move on to the second drill now, and that's just gonna be two touch. So touch, touch, control, touch, just like this. And if you wanna back up, you can get closer, but I like to be like about a couple feet away, just so that I can pass it harder and challenge and really test my first touch. So, like I said before, we're gonna use one foot first, and then as we get more comfortable, we're gonna switch over to our next foot. So, so what I love about the wall is that sometimes when you pass it, it's not always gonna come straight, so you're gonna to have to react. So this is a great like cognitive drill as well. I really like, hitting the ball hard against the wall because it drives a really hard pass back to me, but I kind of know where it's gonna be. So there's like no surprises. Sometimes there is, but most of the time it comes right back where I want it. So the next drill that we're going to be doing is now we're going to be playing the ball against the wall, but we're taking a touch and sending ourselves up back to the foot that played the ball. So you're gonna play with your right, Take a touch with your left, play with your right, touch with your left, and you're gonna do that for as long as you want, and then you're gonna make sure you do the same thing. So play with your left, control with your right, 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 just like that. So the next show that we're going to be doing is we're gonna be playing with our right, touch with our right, play with our left, touch with our left, play with your right, touch with your right, Left, left, right, right. So making sure that you set up yourself well for the next pass is gonna be very important. So I really like to challenge myself and hit that ball as hard as I can. So the next drill that we're going to be doing is now we're going to play the ball with our right foot, we're gonna take a touch with the outside of the foot with our left, play with our left, touch with our right, play with our right, touch with our left, outside touch, right foot, outside touch, play it. So for this one, it's starting to get a bit difficult, so make sure you start taking your time, ease into each drill, and then once you start getting comfortable, then you can start speeding it up. So when you're passing that ball, be sure to pass it back to the foot that played the ball, because it's gonna be more natural and much more comfortable taking a touch across. So that's my tip for you. So here, touch, here, play it back. Touch, here, touch, here, touch. So the next drill we're going to be doing now is now we're gonna go a little bit closer. We're gonna use one cone. We're gonna put it even closer about, let's say, one, two, 
three, four, about four feet away. It could be a bit further. I think I might do one more foot. So five feet away from the wall. And all we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be playing the ball. Left, touch across, right, touch across, left, touch across, right. Working on that first touch, taking it across your body. This is something very important. And it's something that I love to do with a partner. But if you don't have a partner, the wall is the second best option. So this is a great, great drill to work on that first touch, being confident. And as you get better, start playing it harder, try to make less mistakes. And I promise you, this is gonna help you a lot. And as you notice, you can do so many drills. The drills that I'm mentioning, these are one out of thousands of other combinations you could be doing. So I'm just trying to give you guys some ideas of what to do, but these are some of my favorite ones. But I've seen so many very creative drills so when you go out, be creative, do a lot of different things. These aren't the only drills that you have to do. So with that same drill, what you can do now is you can do the exact same thing. You, now you could pass it with your right, take a touch with your left. So you're just kind of giving yourself just a little bit of parameters. So you have an object in front of you. So it's gonna require a lot more focus. It might make you a little nervous just because you don't wanna hit it. So this adding the cone is a great way to make it more challenging. So the next drill that we're going to be doing is going to be a great drill for my center mids and strikers or anybody that wants to work on their turning. So you're gonna place the cone around the same area. All you're gonna do now is you're gonna take a touch, you're gonna to play the ball, turn, come back around here, play left, turn, come back, you do a fake turn, whatever you want, touch, turn, just like that. Come here, yep, turn. Come here, fake, yep, turn, good turn. Drag back, here, turn. So the thing I recommend is for you to set yourself up for a good turn, the same thing. I recommend it, playing it back to the foot that played the ball because it's gonna feel more natural to take the touch around that cone versus if you play too far ahead, you're not gonna be able to get around it. So. When you play that ball, remember, play it to the foot that played the ball. So it's gonna be much easier to get around it, just like that. So this is a great drill. If you have no one to play it, so you can work on your passing, what you can do to make it even more difficult is when you play that ball, maybe check your shoulders before getting the ball. I know it's a very small space, but as you get more comfortable, you should be able to do it. Come here, do a fake turn, Come back here, you can work on the inside of the foot, outside of the foot, any part of your foot. So this is an amazing drill for my midfielder. Turn, fake turn, fake shot, sorry. Touch, turn. So the next drill that we're going to be doing is we're gonna make two gates. So if you don't have another wall like this, that's perfectly fine, I'm gonna show you alternative. So what we're going to be doing now is all we're gonna be doing is working on opening up, controlling, and passing it. So I'm gonna show the first variation. This is going to be if you have two walls. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna play it, you're gonna open up, play with your left, open up, play with your right, open up, play with your left, open up, play with your right, open up. So just working on taking a nice way to touch, just like that. So if you don't have a wall towards your right, this is going to be the variation for you. So you're gonna play with your left, take a touch with your right, you're gonna croif, play with your left again, touch across, croif, play, touch, croif, and then play, touch, croif. So that is going to be the variation for you. Be sure to, to practice both sides. So if you're doing the other side, you're gonna play with your right, Take a touch with your left, croif with your left, play with your right, touch outside, croif, play. So the next row is gonna require two cones. The farthest cone is going to be about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about seven feet away from the wall. And this, the first cone right here in the front is going to be about one, two, three, four, about four feet away from the wall. This, it doesn't have to be exactly like that, but these are just the parameters I use. 
So this is going to be a great drill working on your first touch, taking it across. So all you're gonna do, you're gonna take here, take it across here. You're gonna play it back, back pedal, play here, touch, play it back, touch across, play it here, touch across, play it back pedal, touch here, touch, play it back, just like that. So the same thing on the other side. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna play the ball with your left, take a touch across, play with your right, back pedal, touch across, play with your left, touch across, play with your right, back pedal, touch, left, touch, back pedal, touch across, here, 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 just like that. And if you want to make it more difficult, I recommend checking your shoulders before you pass that ball. So that's gonna even make it more challenging. So let's do the right side. So here, touch, here, back pedal, checking your shoulders, touch, here, look behind me, here, touch, right here, just like that. So guys, this is going to be the end of the video. I'd greatly appreciate if you left a like. And like I mentioned before, these are only a very few of the thousands of drills that you can do with the wall. You can do some driven balls, you can do some ball mastery skills involving the wall, doing some passes after every ball mastery skill you do. You can be very creative. And like I mentioned before, this is only touching a very few of the drills that you can come up with. So have fun with it, be creative. But I would like to mention, you know, another thing is thank you guys so much for all the support. I've been getting recently, we're almost at 1400 subscribers and it's been amazing to see all the support I've been getting, like the likes, the comments from you guys. It's very motivational for me to continue to, to you know, provide you guys with the best content. And I just want to thank you guys for the guys who have been commenting consistently on my videos. Thank you guys so much because it really does mean a lot and it motivates me to create better content every single time. So if you're like looking for any help, whether that be, you know, fitness, nutrition, uh, football, like exercises, drills, or anything, just comment down below and I'd be happy to help any of you guys out there. That's my goal. I just wanna help as many people out there who are struggling with anything. So thank you again, guys. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe, turn on the no notification bell so you don't miss out on a video. But I just want to say happy holidays to everyone. Stay safe out there. Keep up the great work. And like Nathan says, it's always a great day to get better. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. They think that we lost our minds. Well, maybe we did. Maybe that's just how we live. Maybe that's all that we want. Maybe it is what it is. Cause we're just living our life That's the life we're living We're just living our life That's the life